Hello again, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Focus Vandalia. My name is Rich Hopkins. I'm the communications manager for the city. And today we are coming to you from National Road US 40 right here in downtown Vandalia. Now, for about a year, we've been telling you about an innovative program that allows local businesses to tap into funds for facade improvements. Today, we're taking a firsthand look at that program in action. In August of 2020, the city of Vandalia unveiled its Facade Improvement Program, which funds up to 50% of aesthetic improvements to business fronts. Assistant City Manager Amber Holloway says the first year was a success. It's been a great program uh, rolled out really, you know, in August of 2020. So really been a unique time to roll out a program like that. But folks were still doing construction projects. And, and so thankfully, we've been able to meet that need by offering, you know, fulfilling two grant requests at up to, you know, the 50 percent funding amount, which has been exciting. Um, and, and we look forward to seeing, you know, folks continue to take advantage of this great program. Holloway says she's received inquiries about the program from a number of local businesses, with a smaller number of businesses applying for the funding. COVID-19 has put a strain on many businesses um, across, you know, across the country and the world, but it, and here in Vandalia as well. And so our businesses, while they've done well and have, have rebounded a lot, we know that Construction projects might not be at the forefront of their mind, especially on things that are, you know, facade improvements, things that don't have to be done right now. And so we think that the program will continue to gain popularity as the economy rebounds, which, you know, we're starting to see that now. Um, and so we look forward to, uh, to having some more people take advantage of it. What types of improvements are eligible for funding? The list is pretty long. Anything that's going on to the exterior that's visible from the public right of way. So that could be window replacement. In fact, that's one one that we saw on one of our applications was someone replaced the windows that were visible from the street. Awning and door repair or replacement, cleaning and repainting or repair of the facade siding, uh, removal of obsolete and non-conforming signage, um, and then removal of any elements that are covering architectural details. Holloway says businesses looking to access the funding only have a few requirements to meet. You must be a business owner or building owner located within the specific target area. Uh, and then again, your, those improvements have to be visible from the right of way. That's the goal. And then you have to be current on your taxes and show no delinquency for a three year period. And you have to have property insurance and show as proof that you have it. Uh, and then your total project value has to be at least um, $2,500 or more. As this program enters its second year, the hope is that more businesses decide to take advantage of this special funding opportunity. This is an initiative that council really wanted to see happen and they've been very supportive of this. We, we're taking a very specific target area now. This may be a program that is ultimately expanded to other areas of the city, but we wanted to start with one area to, to start to see that impact, see what kind of interest there was. But it's a program that's just simply aimed at helping people fund improvements that make the exterior of their building look better. To apply for the Facade Improvement Program, you can do it online, vandaliaohio.org. You can also call Amber Holloway directly, 937-415-2250. As you may expect, there are some restrictions with our facade improvement program. It's only for businesses in a certain area of town and the improvements have to be visible from the public right of way. For a complete look at all the qualifications necessary, check us out on the web, vandaliaohio.org. That's going to do it for this edition of Focus Vandalia. I'm Rich Hopkins. Thanks for watching and we'll see